Sylvia, so, I, I don't know how I can ever say thank you in a really appropriate way. You know, your thoughtful, kind, and generous support is felt by so many, including the young ladies here today who will benefit from playing at Miller Ranch Stadium. Thank you. You know, and you referred to it as the ranch. When we were talking about this earlier, Frank McCogliano mentioned the fact that he goes, this is really going to be neat. He goes, you know, they're going to refer to it as being at the ranch. They'll talk about coming to the ranch for the game. They'll talk about being at the ranch and seeing someone hit a grand slam and a walk-off home run. So, Frank, I think you're right, because I even heard Sylvia talk about the ranch. And that certainly is how we will. Before I talk about Bengal Village, one other thing I want to talk, add, add in, because Sylvia has been a great fan since they moved back here in 2002. But I also remember in 2003, when I first got here, in early 2004, Roger Rowe, Rick Eskelson, Ted Flandro talked to me about a guy that we need to get involved with the Bengal Foundation Board of Directors. And that was Pappy. And I'm glad he was involved before he got here. I'm just glad he was involved while he was here. And he will continue to be involved uh, as he lives on with us. Truly, members of the Bengal family that I so often refer to includes our student athletes, our staff, our alumni, and certainly the members of the community that are here to celebrate with us today. Bengal Village was a vision, now it's becoming a reality. In 2005, when we started talking about the needs, not just for facilities, but for our programs to be successful, we sought to develop a master plan which will allow us to become competitive in the Big Sky Conference and in the Western United States amongst our peers. We developed a plan and now it will be able to move forward. This gift not only will allow us to provide for Miller Ranch Stadium, the softball field, the lead, as the lead gift for that, but we also be able to honor Pappy with our practice football field being named Pappenburg Field. This will allow us to move forward with the first two parts that we really felt were essential in Bengal Village in the development of that program. What does this gift mean for Idaho State University Athletics? Well, it means there's still a lot more work to do, that's for sure. This will allow us to move forward to make, making Bengal Village a reality. Expectations since the plans were announced a year ago is why hasn't the shovel been in the ground already? Well, we're moving closer to that every day. Idaho State University will need to go to the State Board of Education and seek formal approval for our plans to construct a softball field and a football practice field as part of Bengal Village. With approval, the project will then become a public works project and go to the Permanent Building Fund Advisory Council, and an RFP will be uh, re released to find an architect to design the, the uh, facility. Upon selection of an architect for the project and completion of the design, the project will then go out to bid and construction will begin. I certainly want to thank you for your attendance today, especially members of our softball team that did have a chance to meet Sylvia uh, before we came up here. And uh, I think that she truly does feel part of our family with that. Also, Larry Stocking, our head softball coach, is here today, as well as John Zamblin, our uh, football coach. Appreciate their support. One other person that's been key, certainly, in, in this process also, uh, former ISU volleyball player and a member of the development office, Pauline Theros. She's sitting here shaking her head no, but Sylvia and I both know how valuable she's been to this process, and we per certainly appreciate that along with Vice President Tingey and the support that he's provided. Uh, that's all that we have at this time. I'd be happy to try to answer or entertain any questions that you have. Uh, Paul, do you have a, a timetable on when this could be, could be done? You know, I think it all depends upon how quickly it goes through the Public Works project. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, I believe this will probably go to the State Board uh, of Education. They will not be meeting in uh, March, but they will be meeting in April. So my expectations is that it would be on uh, the agenda for that meeting, and then we can move forward from there as quickly as we can through the, the, the bidding and Public Works project. So process. you think maybe the 2009 season they could play on this field? I'm not certain if they'll be able to play on 2009 or not, but I, I think you certainly will see activity uh, before the end of this year. Anything else? You guys are easy. <laughs> How do you think this will affect the bottle like the next week? I hope positively. <laughs> you know, I, I think that one of the questions that's out there has been, you know, and seriously, since we unveiled the plan back in 2006, a lot of people keep wondering, 
and this is a process that takes time. Uh, you know, it's not something that you unveil the plan and, and all of a sudden all the money's there. It's going to take a number of resources and a number of people and groups to make this whole project become a reality. Not only the building of the new facilities, but also the renovation of Holt Arena. We see funding sources, multiple funding sources as necessary for Bengal Village to become a reality. Partnerships with the community, private gifts such as what Sylvia has provided to us, uh, and other partnerships with students, uh, with other donors. So I think it all fits together, uh, and I hope it will have a positive impact on how the community sees that we are moving forward uh, with our other plans as well. Well, as I see this, is that where the, the, the Miller Shady is going to be, is right basically in front of Polar Arena? We're trying to re present as many different views as we can uh, so we can allow the architects to uh, actually work out what the best plan will be. Our anticipation, when we originally did some of the drawings, we thought that the uh, home plate would be back towards the campus. Uh, I asked them to make sure that they put the scoreboard away from my office so I could look out the window and see the score and you know, whether, whether I need to go out or not. I think the rendering that's over here is probably closer. Home plate will probably be located on the north, whether it's the northeast or the northwest, uh, but that is uh, one of those two areas. That lends very well with our entry plaza for the entire area and really creates, I think, what will be a stunning entry area for Holt Arena, the athletic center, the practice facility, 